In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply fractions that have variables in them. The pattern with variables will be exactly like the same pattern we had with integers, in that we simply have to reduce first and then multiply straight across. To help us with reducing, we will remember that to reduce variable, we will, we will write each exponent as a product to help us see what we can divide out of any fraction. So, for example, when we have 15a squared in the numerator for this example, we'll write the a squared as a times a over 28 times 10 over 13 a cubed a times a times a, three a's multiplied together. Now we can look at any reducing. You may notice that the 28 and 10, one from the numerator, one from the denominator, they're both divisible by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Also, you will notice we can divide an a out of the numerator and denominator. We can divide another a out of the numerator and denominator. No more reducing left. We're in the numerator, we've got 15 times 5, which we might need a little chicken scratch to calculate. 15 times 5 is 75. In the denominator, 14 times 13 times a is left. And you might need to do the 14 times 13 off to the side by hand to get our solution. 182, and don't forget the a, 75 over 182 a. Let's try another example that has us reducing variables as well as integers. In this problem, we have 24x cubed. x cubed means we have 3x's multiplied together over 5y squared, or 2y's multiplied together times 15y over 18x. Again, we'll do some reducing with the numbers first. 15 and 5, one from the numerator and denominator, are both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. 18 and 24 are both divisible by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 24 divided by 6 is 4. You may also notice we have another common factor on the fraction on the right. Both are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, there is no more reducing left with the numbers. However, with the variables, we can divide out an x, one from the numerator, one from the denominator, and we can divide out y's, one from the numerator and one from the denominator. What do we have left on top in the numerator? 4, x, x, and 1. 4 times 1 is 4, and the 2 x's multiplied together gives us x squared over, in the denominator, 1, y, and 1 leaves just y, or 1 y. And we get our final answer, 4 x squared over y. Multiplication, we reduce first and multiply second. If there's variables, we'll write out each exponent as a product, so that we can reduce the variables just like the numbers by dividing out common factors.